Nicaragua is an amazing country with beautiful landscape and amazing people. And in this video, I want to share with you my top seven places to go in Nicaragua. The ones I have visited, my highlights, and what I think is worth in each one of them. So in case you're wondering, my name is Pierre. I'm a travel and adventure photographer. Just got back from Nicaragua, and I want to share this with you. This channel is a travel channel, so if you're interested in more travel videos, make sure to check out the rest of the videos around here. And with no further ado, we're gonna jump right into Nicaragua top seven. Let's start with number seven, Mombacho. Mombacho is basically a volcano. You have to get there if you want to see 180 degree view on Granada, another city on the lake. It's beautiful. The crater is really, really green. There is a lot of vegetation, beautiful. You even walk through what they call the cloud forest because you have clouds coming on the volcano all the time. And so sometimes you're in the clouds, sometimes you're not. It's amazing. Now on this volcano, you can also stay in eco lodges, you can zip line, you can do many things. Uh, but what is really nice is to go on a night walk uh, with a flashlight and just discover all the crazy wildlife that comes out at night, the insects, the spiders, everything. This is just crazy and a bit scary also, but it's worth it. Next, number six, Aposentillo. Aposentillo is pretty famous for surfers. It's a very chill village on the northwest of Nicaragua. But if you like to surf, there's this beautiful wave with absolutely almost no one on it. It's great, you can also rent a boat and go on waves a bit further. It's a great, great spot. I highly recommend it to anyone. The sunset there that we experienced was absolutely out of this world and beautiful. And also we had that feeling of having that whole beach for yourself. So to recap, if you love surfing, this is the place for you to be. On to number five. Are you ready for lava? Masaya. Masaya is the name of a small town. It's also the name of the volcano. The point to go there is basically to experience real lava. I had never seen that in my life and it is incredible. So you go there at night and you can see it boiling from the crater of the volcano. It's such an out of this world experience and I highly recommend it to anyone going to Nicaragua. It's very touristy, but it's crazy. You have to do it. It's amazing. Also, Masaya is a small town, very nice ambience. There is a local market and a tourist market. Quick tip, if you don't go to the tourist market, go to the local market. Apparently you'll find the same thing, but for cheaper, that's a tip that a local gave us. Once you're in Masaya, you're not too far from uh, number four, which is Granada. Granada is absolutely beautiful. It's an antique city. It's very famous in the world for the colors on the buildings, the cathedral. There's a lot of tourists there and it's a really nice place to go spend a day or two just to experience basically the architecture, the colors, the, the vibe. There's a good food scene also. So highly recommend Granada. Now let's move on to a place way more remote. Number three is basically Jiquililo. Jiquililo is this tiny fisherman village that's on the northwest of Nicaragua. It's very chill. You would go there in order to disconnect, to better reconnect with yourself. Maybe surf a little bit because there is this beautiful wave on the reef. It's also a great point to start your trip to the last northern part of Nicaragua where you can actually enjoy the view on El Salvador and Honduras. Now I want to tell you it's completely dirt roads everywhere. It's a national park with a volcano. When we were there, it was a forest fire all around that did not prevent us from going there, but we could not access the top of the volcano. Also, people there are super friendly. Just go there, get lost in the area, explore new horizons. And if you're in Jiquililo on the weekend, I can recommend you to go to that bar that's kind of a nightclub, but don't have big expectations. It's basically a countryside nightclub on the open air. So just get there on a Friday or Saturday night. The next day, I would recommend you to actually take a boat tour through the mangroves and the ocean. Now, number two, Leon. Leon is this very cute town with lots of small streets. It's super colorful. There is this amazing cathedral. The highlight there is that you can actually walk on the roof. It's crazy. It's all white on the roof. It's beautiful and you can walk there. Enjoy the view all around the city. And then after that, you can go and enjoy some local food, some local fruits. It's actually a very nice city to be in. Now I want to tell you something. Leon gets really, really, really hot. So 
Don't stay too long or find a place with AC if you're not comfortable with the heat. So I kept that one last because it's amazing. Number one, Ometepe Island. This island is crazy. It has two volcanoes on it. They are almost touching each other and they're on the Lake Nicaragua. So the atmosphere on that island is very chill. The people are super friendly. You can kite surf on one side of the island. You can hike the volcanoes actually. We ended up hiking the volcano Concepcion. It is the highest. It took a long time. We had a very, very bad weather. The whole time we, we hiked up, finally went on the way down halfway. We, the weather cleared and it was way better, but just make sure the weather will be good before you go up there because you're gonna see absolutely nothing. Although it's fun, it's not gonna be worth it and you're gonna be discouraged to finish the hike. Now, another thing that you can do is simply rent a scooter or take your car and just go around the island. The landscape is really different from one point to the other on the island. There is even a part where we felt like we were in a safari. It was pretty incredible. Oh, and there is this famous sunset point you have to go. It's super famous, but you have to go. It's beautiful. It's a strip of land that comes out of the island, basically. And you can enjoy a view straight on the island, on the volcano. And at sunset, it gets so magical. The colors are beautiful. The whole landscape is incredible. So if you like to take amazing pictures for your Instagram feed, or if you want a beautiful selfie there, this is the place to be on Ometepe Island <laughs> at sunset time. And just in case you're wondering, how do you get on Ometepe Island? You just simply take a ferry. You can even take it with your car. Just side note, if you're taking your car there, make sure you book in advance a ferry because it's crowded. A lot of locals go there with the trucks also for deliveries. So just make sure you will have a spot for your car. Oh, one more tip. Nicaragua has a lot and lot of fruits. You have to try them. Stop on the side of the road, get your coconuts, get your bananas. Get the unknown fruits that you've never seen ever in your life. It's really cheap, so don't hesitate. Try all the fruits you can find and see. Some of our favorite times was just stopping on the side of the street and getting fruits and trying them and speaking with the locals. So make sure you don't mess on that. Don't be afraid. Just get out there and get those fruits. Watermelon, one dollar. All right, and that wraps up the top seven places to go in Nicaragua. Those are my recommendations. Now there's a lot more that you can explore, but if you start with that, it's amazing. With that being said, if you like that video, leave it a big thumbs up. Make sure you leave me a comment if you have other recommendations, if you have questions about Nicaragua. And most importantly, make sure you subscribe to this channel because this is a travel channel. So we'll see you in the next video for new adventures. And remember, make the most of your time on this planet. You never know when it ends.